Okay, friends, so we're trying this again. It's Rachel here live in the doll shop with the Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama. And we are uh, hopefully going to get Stife Gal on this feed so that we can chat bulldogs. So Stife Gal, let's get her on here. And we're going to approve that. Okay, it's Adoner. It's Adner. Hello, everybody that's out there. So I am here with the Dalai Lama. There she is. Hi, Rebecca. Well, hello and hello, Dolly. How are you feeling? What was that? How was, how was sweet Dolly feeling? She's doing a lot better, thank you. For those who uh, were not here or didn't know, Dolly got spayed on Monday, which is, yeah, I've been, you know, she's doing great. She's doing so great. Well, then the timing for this could not be better to make her even greater. We have such a special thing today. I have to tell you, when I learned of this opportunity, the first person I thought of was not you, and I'm terribly sorry, it was Dolly. And so this time, and so she's going to be our special guest. I would like to share with Dolly, and you if you'd like, a, an extraordinary unboxing. This is of epic proportions. We do a lot of unboxing. This should be epic, all right? And this, this is going to be epic, and we are so excited, and Dolly is so excited to be hosting her first live feed, so you can tell. She's and, just elated. And, and it's my understanding we have other dogs watching this live feed, so um, I, this is a blue ribbon event all around. All around. Super excited. Okay, so Thank what you I'm for going... the opportunity. If you guys are Our tuning in, please share the video so more people can see this epic dog event. This is an epic dog event. Now, what I'm, now I know you have your ginger prints. And I have my silver fox. So I'm going to hand the camera to my silver fox, who is going to be my cameraman for the unboxing. Perfect. All right? Ready. All right, hang on. We're ready. So if you guys are out there, we're here with Rebecca Kaufman, who is Stipe Gal. And she just received something extraordinary in the mail. And we are going to uh, see it. We're going to see this unboxing. There she goes. All right, I have my two weapons. I've been, I've been trained in these things, so do not worry. We have the box cutter only because this is very large. So this is about, I don't know, maybe 40 inches, and it's probably, you know, maybe 24 inches tall. So you can only imagine what's in here. So hold your breath. I'm going to start with the box cutter. I have not rehearsed this. This is totally, totally fresh. All right. You've got to love a fresh unboxing. Isn't that kind of the fun part? You get that huge box, and then it's like, oh, you hope it's, as good or better than the pictures or, you know, it's just- All right, here we go. Up. So far, so good. Okay. Oh, this will be easier than I thought. It was packed beautifully for what it is. Okay, we're unboxing. Okay. I don't think I need any more weapons. I don't think. Lots of bubble tape. All right. All right, are you sitting down? I am sitting down with the dolly. Is dolly sitting down? She is. Well, what I think I have for Dolly. Oh my gosh. Is her new boyfriend. A, oh, it's a studio bulldog. It's you a studio bulldog. So I'm jealous. Put this, I, I've got enough packing stuff here to pack anything safe for the moon, but I'm going to put the Dolly down. I'm going to move this. Bye bye. Okay. Look at that, everybody. How oh, cool is that? Okay, so I don't even know where to start, so I will start. Okay. This is, um, so I have only known of maybe one or two of these. I didn't really know they existed. I've seen one or two in pictures. So this is a Stife Studio Bulldog. How is Dolly doing? Does she need oxygen? How you doing, Dolly? Isn't he cute? Oh, she, she wants to meet him. No, he's just gorgeous. Now, I don't even, he's in such beautiful condition. These pieces are not in the regular Stife reference books, you won't see these in the Stife sword in it. And so no one really, really knows when they were made or why they were made. I'm just looking at her closely for any hints of additional ID or anything. She's what I'm so looking for cool. Well, Rachel, look, she's about 36 inches. That's about and she's about that's two about feet the, tall. That's about the exact size of Dolly. So, I mean, it is it is like exactly the right size of a bulldog. And it has a nice little waist, just like just like Dolly. Yeah, well, like, yes, it's a match made in heaven. Now, this dog has what's called a horse, uh, a, a, an Elizabethan horsehair collar. 
And she's getting in close so she can see. Yeah, absolutely. And okay, what you can see is it's made out of this horse hair. It's about three or four inches long. Uh, what I was looking for on this on this dog was called the, the U.S. Zone Tag. This I'm trying to figure out when it was made. Okay, so what we have this. So here is the dog. Here is the bulldog. It's head jointed, and if you take a look at the eyes, they're like the size of golf balls, and they're hand painted. The nose is stitched, and she's got these fabulous jowls. Look at that. Look at that. I've just never seen one of these in person, but what I have seen is this. Now this is in the, this is from the standard line. This was made um, in about 1956 through 1961. This was an exclusive for the U.S. I don't know if it was an exclusive for F.A.O. Schwartz, but we can talk about that in a bit. But as you can see, this is the giant version of this, and it's the English Bulldog. And I know that one of the folks um, on Facebook asked us if ever make an English Bulldog. Well, I didn't answer it because I wanted to show you instead of tell you. But yes, this is the standard line, or, or still relatively very rare, English Bulldog. And this is the studio size. And you can see they have just very phenomenal. You see the same collar? And the same. I am green with envy. Well, you can borrow. You can. <laughs> so why did they put what? What? What's up with? Why do they have that collar around its neck? Okay. What, so what this. Is, what is the purpose? Okay. So what is yeah. so interesting? You ask. So if you look back into when Steve started creating the bulldog design, as most people know it, that would be Bully the Bulldog. That was in the in the twenties. The the many of them did have this collar. This at the time in the twenties was what sort of high-end society dogs wore. It showed that they were sophisticated and classy and belonged to wealthy and affluent families. So it, it, it's sort of like a status symbol. And Don't it doesn't really get, make Do we need to get Dolly one? <laughs> I, I, I think so. I think one of our antique friends could get us one. So it's sort of a status symbol. It doesn't really make sense now, but it does make sense then. And I believe that this, this design is somewhat of a nod to the, to the, to the bully bulldog of, of the 20s. The other thing I was thinking about is I'm trying to date this item, and I was looking for a U.S. zone tag to see if it was perhaps from that from that period, which would be the very late 40s to the early 50s. What I think we have here, I'm thinking, because there's no there's no reference on this dog, is I think this dog was produced probably for a uh, as a, a U.S. exclusive, or probably for F.A.O. Schwartz. And the reason I say that is because F.A.O. Schwartz in 1950, 1965 and 1966 had a couple of studio dogs that did not appear anywhere else. One of those studio dogs was this beagle. The He's the cute. Beagle. Okay, so this oh, is basically so the life cute. size of the beagle. This was made by F.A. Schwartz in 1965, 1966. They also made a life size collie at the same time. So it wouldn't be that unusual for them to also produce uh, something like this. So my best guess is that this was probably made in a very, very limited production for F.A.O. Schwartz, probably went about when I was born, about 1966 or so. Maybe as an advertising so, piece or in a window. Do you think it could have been a special order? It absolutely could have been a special order. It could have been for the window. One of the things that, that the viewers will notice about this is, is how intricate the design is. Look at this. Was, this would, would have taken you know, weeks or if not a month to make this face and stuff it with Excelsior. Beautiful mouth just lined for, with teeth. Just for it. reference. <laughs> yes, yes. So this, this would have taken a very long time to make and be very expensive to make. So chances are from a, from a business perspective, not very many were made. This right. is, I think, the third one that I know of. Bulldogs are just, they're hard to create. They're hard to draw. They're, they're, just, they're just very complex little doggies. They have a lot of personality, yes. though. Well, some of my favorite people have bulldogs, and you know who you yes. are. So Michael I'm and David so are, I'm sure, watching this. We'll have to do it again with them. Well, absolutely. So I just wanted to share this with you because I how can I purchase? How can I purchase that, Rebecca? <laughs> well, we, <laughs> well, we'll have to discuss that offline. <laughs> so, um, you know, not to be outdone because I was feeling very left out when I heard that you bought, that you found a studio bulldog online and that you purchased it. I found a studio bulldog online and I purchased it. So I have my own unboxing to do right now. Wonderful. Get ready, get ready for this. 
Okay, so I'm going to now flip the camera back. Okay, can you see? Oh, wait a minute, maybe you're not. <laughs> All right. Thank so you, Silver to, Fox. You know, I've, <clears throat> I've been learning a lot about Skype since I met you, so you're going to have to help me, but I'm almost positive that this is um, a rare Skype Studio Boba. So let me just get... Well, I'm very excited little, because... My little unboxing here. I mean, I'm, I'm almost, I'm sure... I'm almost <gasps> positive. Well, he's just gorgeous. Look at the airbrushing quality. Is it Skype? Well, it it <gasps> is <laughs> it is in the it is inspired by Skype, and he's and it's per, is, he made, is that Dolly or the is that yeah, Dolly or him? Murray. He's, he's very oh. jealous that we're having all this fun with the bulldogs. Murray, come here. Well, Murray. you can tell Murray. Murray. Murray, come here. We're going to have to do another one on poodles. I do have several <laughs> studio poodles. You're not scaring me. <laughs> but I'm let so go, glad to... Let me go get the Murr. I'll be right... I'll be right... Talk amongst yourselves. Here he comes. Here you are. So... Um, obviously, I was I was uh, pulling a fast one on Rebecca because this this um, I actually wanted a carnival. Um, it's definitely not a stipe. I would uh, like to trade it for hers, but um, here I ha now I have a poodle. Okay, he is so well, great. And so this is this is the this is the one that was made for the U.S. but probably for FAO Schwartz, and you can absolutely see those wonderful teeth and the smiling mouth. And there's the, 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 the Elizabethan collar. Love. Love it, love it, love it. So, so, been so I do have. Hmm? I have, oh, a, I have a number. You've gotten some uh, amazing um, studio pieces with your Jocko, and then now with the Bulldog. I mean, it's like it's like you're manifesting these wonderful pieces because not only are they exceptionally rare, yours are in pristine condition. Just amazing. Well, well, I'm so grateful that my house and my husband allow it because <laughs> I know um, your I, husband's I, amazing. I I feel I'm the caretaker for them. Uh, Jocko is right here. He's relaxing. Jocko is so cool. We had so much fun with Jocko. Everyone enjoyed um, posing with him and getting to know him. And thank you for bringing him. Here's, here's for, for reference. Dolly really enjoyed, Dolly really enjoyed meeting your, there we go. So, so Dolly, did you enjoy this? This was designed for you. Oh, sweet girl. I know. Too much excitement. You know, this is her excited face, too. Bulldogs are funny because this is, this is excited right here. Very I good. can tell her heart's racing. <laughs> well, now my question is, where am I going to put the bulldog? But, I'll, you know, you can always find space for something nice. You know that. Now, the last question I have is, did Stipe do studio pugs? Not yet. We're working on that. Okay. We're working on that. We're working on that. We're working because if on you that. guys don't uh, know, Rebecca has, has uh, wonderful pugs. My pugs will be intimidated by this dog, which is about 10 times the size of them. But that's okay. It's kind of funny because um, when I have this in the shop, it, uh, when you go around the corner quickly, it totally looks like a real bulldog. And my other dogs are afraid of it because they, yes. they expect it. They don't know why it's not moving or why it isn't, um, you know, they think it's real. So, so are you getting ready for your trip this weekend? Yes. So we leave very early tomorrow morning for the uh, Wilmington, Ohio doll and uh, bear event. So I will be on the lookout for all kinds of wonderful things. Uh, maybe even uh, Skype by FaceTiming you if I find something extraordinary, which I know I will. And then, um, what do you, do you have anything coming up between now and London? Um, I'm giving a couple of presentations locally on Stife Dolls, but the, but the big event is, is London. And I actually should have worn, we should have worn our t-shirts today. Team London. I know, I was thinking about that when I got here, actually. And we should be drinking champagne as well. Well, maybe not. Well, theoretically. Oh, yeah. Um, it's okay. It's always, a, it's always, it's, as you say, London's always a good idea and Prosecco is always a good idea. It's five o'clock somewhere or noon it's or whatever, you know. That's exactly, exactly. Well, I'm so delighted to share this with you. She's been sitting in a box. I, she got here a couple days ago and I, I know we scheduled this, 
because I wanted I wanted the world to see to share in the just wow of this let's let me show one, her to you yeah let's take one. one more look at your extraordinary bulldog so for those who are just tuning in i know a lot of you are just tuning in this video will remain live on my page forever and then we'll also put it on youtube but rebecca kaufman stife gal got this amazing stife studio bulldog and it is the exact same size as dolly and when you rewind the video you can see rebecca holding it and it really gives you a perspective on the size that it is but it's just in pristine condition look at what is that nose made out of the nose is stitching it's like a thousand different oh. seams and here's her mouth i the love teeth. the googly eyes oh look at the two little teeth in the front and the googly eye and you think it well they're yeah they're kind of like bulging out yep oh they're totally yeah there she so is you think this is from the 60s i'm guessing i'm guessing it's as old as i am 1966 i'm thinking it's my best guess you're going to have a Noah's Ark soon. This is so cool. Yeah, she's really in nice shape. I mean, she's not perfect, but nobody's perfect at our age. But she's perfect enough. Oh, yeah. I'm I would snap that up in a second. She's phenomenal. Congratulations on such a great find. Thank you. I'm thinking that maybe we'll name her Handsome Dan, like the Yale Bulldog, because she's about the right size. All right. She there is. she is. Proportionally, she's the exact same size as mine. So I just love that. I love these studio pieces because they're so exact. So much we have time to get and you planning one. and effort went into these. Yes, absolutely. Well, we'll, we'll find you one. Sounds be good. Your All right. Thank you for being on the lookout. Our, our, our talk and our show, Rebecca, thank you. If you want to visit Rebecca, she, I think I'm, I'm losing you. her in the video, but she's Stife Gal. And if you Google that, you'll find all her stuff. But her blog is My Stife Life. And definitely sign up for her newsletter. Her newsletter is fabulous. My pl All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.